people should share their stories because it's it's how we connect to other humans. It's how we connect to ourselves and it's how we connect to others. You can't connect with somebody else until you really know who you are, not fully, not completely. And I think this is I think this is the fundamental problem of connection in the divisive age that we're in right now is that people don't really fully understand their own story. They don't know how to tell their own story. And when I say tell, I don't just mean tell to other people or tell on a stage. The story you tell yourself about who you are will determine how you live your life. And it's really important to understand how you tell your story. So it's important to understand how you tell your personal narrative. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, the, the story, you, there's so many people that tell themselves the story, I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, I don't deserve this opportunity, you know, you're never going to be happy, you know, that little voice at the back of our head all day, every day that just mm -hmm. like chatters away. Every mm -hmm. single person you meet and interact with has their own version of that voice. And once mm -hmm. you realize that, you just, you, you, it humbles you and it means you can't treat people as, as transactions anymore. You have to you have to appreciate the the interaction that you're having in that moment for that person. Mm -hmm. And that, that comes mm -hmm. from story. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So, you know, you're, you're basically calling for awareness yeah. for each of us of our personal narrative um, and then extending that awareness uh, to others with a consideration that, that they're trapped in their narrative. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's. I think it's. I think it's fundamental work, and that's slightly different. That that's slightly different than what we were talking about earlier, which is kind of the the business and craft of storytelling as a speaker and as a thought leader. But you you can't get to that point until you understand why your story matters and what it is and why it's mm -hmm. worth telling anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it is kind of a bit of a wormhole. Like you yeah. you start just studying the structure of story and as you go through that structure i imagine there's the meta aspect of it and before you know it you're down deep in your own personal narrative <laughs> yeah chasing windmills and you know yeah. cobwebs and perhaps even starting your hero's journey yeah and then and then once you believe that your story is that once you know what your story is and you and you believe that it's worth telling then the science and the psychology and the craft of storytelling matter because you still just because you know your story and you believe it's worth telling doesn't mean it, it doesn't mean you automatically engage and excite an audience. It obviously doesn't. You can you can tell a story. You can tell a good story very badly and you can tell a bad story very well. You know, and and I, more I goodly. yeah, and more goodly, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and th and this goes back to to a lot of what I learned in magic, which was there was a there's always a debate in magic: are there actually any bad magic tricks, or are there just magic tricks done badly? And there's a it's a big it's a big question. I think there are bad magic mm -hmm. tricks, um, but I also think that even the worst magic tricks can be done very well. I've seen magicians do tricks that I believe are fundamentally bad magic tricks that don't deserve wasting the audience's time. I've seen magicians do those exact tricks and have the audience laughing for 10 minutes. I don't well, think it was a very magic. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. I see. I see. I'm also this whole I'm this whole time. I'm trying to imagine what the green screen is going to look like, which is sounds silly if I'm saying this and you're watching the event because you don't see what I'm seeing. You, the audience listening to this right now watching this right now, but I'm looking at a green screen suit and trying to imagine what's going to be there in place of that suit. I'm excited. It'll be a nice surprise. Well, I have to put my beard on and stroke my beard for a second. <laughs> you will find out. Very good. Very good. It was very intriguing. Yes. We, we should gift that. <laughs> I need that as a gift to send to other people. It can be arranged. <laughs> so taking us back, you just said that it's important to know what your story is. Then it's important to know that your story is worth telling. And then it's important to learn the craft of storytelling for the sake of telling your story such that others will benefit from it. Yes. 
Absolutely. Perfect. That was a perfect. Very succinctly, you said everything I've taken 45 minutes to say. It was beautiful. <laughs>